Hi there, welcome to Brawny, and today we're going to be making a simple white bloomer. Uh, literally five ingredients and one piece of equipment is needed. Um, so we've got flour, just plain bread flour, uh, a little bit of olive oil, a bit of veg oil is fine, uh, some water, some yeast, and some salt. That's it. So first off, we start off with the flour, pour it into the bowl, we'll make a well. I'm going to put the yeast on one side and the salt on the other. We then add our water into the middle and bring it all together. As it comes together, we'll add our olive oil. And then just keep bringing it together. So once it's been brought together, we can take it out of the bowl. Um, first oil a surface. Don't need much oil, just a little bit. And then bring it out and then just knead it. So kneading is when you push through and then you fold it back on itself. Um, you do this for about five to 10 minutes. If you're new to this, I would say about 15 to 20. You can use, alternatively, uh, a mixing bowl with a dough hook on it, which will take about five, 10 minutes again. So this is with the dough hook. We just bring it down and we just want it on a medium setting. Leave that for about five minutes. So the whole point of the kneading is to uh, build up the gluten in the bread and uh, form the structure when it uh, cooks and rises. Um, so what you're looking for is we call this the window pane test where you can stretch it out and you can see start, start to see that you can see through it we're going to cover this in olive oil and cling film it and then we're going to leave it for about an hour and a half it should double in size so the dough has proven up uh, to be about double its size it took about an hour and a half uh, can take up to two hours, it depends on the climate of the room. Um, normally about 21 degrees is fine. Um, but once it's got to this stage, you just lightly flour the surface and just tip it out. What we do is just knock it back, it's just taking out the air a little bit, and then we're just going to shape it. So we want it to be uh, a bloomer, so it's going to be quite long. So we bring it one side in, one side in, fold in the end, edges. Once we've shaped it, we just then put it onto a tray, which we're going to bake it on, and then we'll leave it there for half an hour just to prove up again. While this has been proven, we've um, brushed it with some water just to keep it nice and moist. Um, I'm gonna give it one last brush and then score it across the top. Then preheated our oven to 220 degrees. Um, I do have a tray in here which is empty. I'm just going to fill it with about a litre of water. This is to create steam in the oven and it will give a much greater crust to your loaf. Once it's come back up to temperature, we then just put the uh, loaf back into the oven and we will cook that for. 20 minutes at 220, and then we'll bring down the temperature to 200 for another 5-10 minutes, just to finish it up. So, the way we check that it's ready, so it should be hollow, so it have a hollow sound to it. I think that's about ready to be fair. So we just leave it on a cooling rack and yeah, let it cool down completely. 